Hello. Today we're looking at Ubuntu 19.4 Feature Freeze. This is not the official ISO, but it's in this stage of development where we have just passed, just entered, entered the Feature Freeze period of Ubuntu 19.4 and in about a month from now we will get the final beta and in about another month we will get the stable release. But the Feature Freeze is a very Feature Freeze. It's a very important step and it's absolutely worth checking it out and since I last look at this Ubuntu 19.4 a lot have changed and I'm amazed by the change to be honest with you we have now GNOME 3.32 beta so we will have the stable release inside of it let's go to the settings quickly to settings and as you can see, there's a lot of good GNOME goodness in the icons there. But let's quickly go to the settings, details. And as you can see, it is Tesco Dingo. And this is GNOME 3.31.91, which is also known as GNOME 3.32 beta. And yeah, it's kernel 4.19. So the wallpapers have not changed yet, and most of the settings is still the same, except for applications. And as you can see, see here, you have, here you could, for every application on your computer you have, you can have some specs about it, and configure it as you want, and you can also open it up in the GNOME software center. So this is a new thing in the settings. This is quite neat, indeed. <laughs> and one thing which I also noticed is the privacy. By default, this is a default install. Most of the privacy is on. Which for me is quite... When there's a welcome app, because I run updates after I before I saw the video, you have the choice if you want to turn off the privacy or keep it on. But this is a default look and by default it's all on. So. I wonder if it's a good thing, but yeah, so that is one of the things which I noticed with I'm not sure if I like too much, that by, that by default it's on, of course you can turn it off easily, but by default it's on. So and here it's quite nice in your apps, we got the new Jaro theme, but all the icons have been updated, updated, they look brighter, they look clearer, I love the new themes and as you can see the kernel live patch got their own icon now which will take us back to the normal place but for Ubuntu and 19.4 is not yet available because it's not yet stable so that makes sense and system monitor this is in a virtual machine everything works perfectly in Ubuntu 18.10 Battle boxes they really look work too well in some situations where here it's perfect. And as you can see it's about a gigabyte of RAM at the moment. So that's fantastic. And another great thing, we looked at it earlier, but it's still fantastic. It is now files 3.32. So it's exactly the same as the rest of the system is not the older version and we still have desktop icons and everything just works and that is what you want you want Ubuntu to come with something that works out of the box and which you can enjoy and you have the peace of mind that everything is perfect and this is what this release is turning out to be and I love it and if you if you right click on your desktop you have many more options than what you had in the past. You can open a terminal, you can show desktop in files, which will basically op open up your file manager, and many other neat features. So it's not too many, but it's also not too little, which GNOME sometimes have very few settings, and they gave, they are giving us quite a lot. So yeah, I think it's, we are in for a great, great release of Ubuntu 19.4 and it's exciting to see Ubuntu by every release getting better and better and better and 
with the GNOME free cycle. So yeah, I think we're in for something great. And yeah, thank you for watching. See you later. Goodbye.